We're not really seeing a lot of people right now, Adrian, just the healthcare workers who are here to perform the assessments and actually do these tests. You can see the tents set up out here. We know National Guard uh, medics are here as well as nurses prepared to conduct these tests, though we haven't really seen uh, cars approaching. This is going to be done in a drive through uh, process, and it's only for people who meet certain criteria. Either you are a first responder or health worker, or you have to be 65 years of age or older with coronavirus symptoms, and those symptoms must include a temperature of 99.6 degrees or higher that would be taken on site here and also respiratory symptoms. But if you're a law enforcement or corrections officer or a firefighter or health worker, you actually don't have to have any symptoms to be tested. Officials say this site is limited to 250 tests per day and that you should be prepared to wait. Now, here's how the process will work. First, pre-screening. That's when you're going to show your ID uh, at the toll booth. Then nurses will do additional screening to determine if you're eligible for testing. Those who are will head to the testing area where National Guard medics will be collecting the specimens by swabbing patients' nasal cavities. This is all happening in the north parking lot here at the Orange County Convention Center. And so far, we know, uh, according to the Florida Department of Health, Orange County has had 52 confirmed cases of coronavirus with two deaths. So definitely a, a lot of people uh, wanting to get these tests. Uh, and again, those the criteria that you need to, to fit in order to get these tests include either being a health worker uh, or a first responder, or you need to be 65 and older uh, and with coronavirus symptoms. Back and to you. Alex, so we imagine that we will start to see more and more of the traffic filter in as more people just sort of wake up. Remember that it is open like we've been talking about for the last couple of days. Do we know how long, not only that they'll do this today, but how long this is supposed to be going moving forward? Yeah, so Adrian, today uh, this the testing is set to go from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but that is only until they reach those 250 tests that they're able to do per day. So once that number is reached, if it's before 5 p.m., they are not going to be able to administer any more tests today. Now, as far as how many days they're going to do this, they're going to be doing this every single day here at the Orange County Convention Center until they run out of tests. They have 2,400 tests allotted right now for this particular testing site alone. And if they're able to get more tests, of course, they will continue uh, beyond that number as well. All right.